Hello, I'm Brie Tobias and this is Art Supply Guide. We're going to be discussing today the Prismacolor Soft Lead Prismacolor Pencil Set. This is my personal set I've had for many years and I use it for a lot of my drawings. They are a soft lead pencil. They sharpen very nicely. They can keep a very tight tip for the smallest of details. They also blend nicely if you have the Prismacolor Blender Pencil. This pencil here uh, actually helps you smudge the pigment on the paper and it gets rid of a lot of those pencil lines and the grain. It will make things look more smooth much like a paint would. Uh, the thing I love about this box is that it does perform much like its own easel. It makes for convenience when you are working. You can keep your colors separated out. You can pull them out of the box by the sleeve or just keep them in there and work just like that. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a demonstration with some of these pencils and just find out how nicely they stack up. Let's get started. here we've blended on the bottom we still have grainy pencil lines so you can kind of see what you can do with just the very first layer of using Prismacolor pencils okay so here's my finished drawing I took a little extra time to work on some of the detail I added in a little bit of more dark blues, some flesh tones, extra eyelashes, and also some white in the eye. So you can kind of see there what it looks like now. Um, and one more thing I did, I did actually add some grays and blues just really quickly to roughly lay in some color around the eye. Uh, to kind of help it help it have more of a realistic feel to it. Um, I think total I probably spent about maybe 30 minutes total on this eye. Uh, you really can spend a lot more time and uh, probably for this paper because it is so smooth I really think that maybe something with a little of extra tooth to it, a little extra green, would probably be a little more beneficial. It seemed like this being so smooth, I really couldn't get the pencils to stack up. Um, for extra things to use with the Prismacolor pencils, we talked about before, this is the Prismacolor sharpener. And I purchased one thinking that I might be able to use it and I have found that it seems to be gentle on your pencils. It does come in three pieces. The shavings will be collected in the bottom. Right up through here where the blade is, uh, the pencil shavings will tend to 
start to build up and stack in there. Make sure you keep that area clean. If you don't, it does tend to um, break and cut into the wood of your pencils. And I find that a lot of times the uh, pigmented leads will start to break off and fall out if the sharpener isn't cleaned properly. Um, in order to help do layering on your color, you can actually use workable fixative and it's an aerosol can. It's clear. This helps pre protect against UV rays. It'll help keep um, artwork from fading. It adds a protective layer so you can build up the colors and um, basically once you put it down it is like a clear protective barrier so no erasing or anything like that can be done. Um, workable fixative again is something that is used a lot of times in uh, pastel and charcoal artwork. It's really good whenever you use soft, soft lead pencils like B pencils for shading and it's also something that works really well um, on the colored pencils. So um, it has many uses and um, so that basically that's it for uh, this tutorial product review. Um, Prismacolor pencils are some of the high-end pencils and I highly recommend them. Uh, you can do some really, really beautiful artwork with them. And like I said, this here was just a very quick demonstration and um, the possibilities really are endless. You can really get some incredible artwork out of them. All right, this is Brie Tobias signing off with Art Supply Guide. Thank you guys.